30. Which of the following compounds precipitates from a solution that has the concentrations indicated? And then see Appendix J for KSP values. So in this case, we have a potassium perchlorate, so KClO4, and they gave us concentrations. They told us that the K plus ion is 0 0.01 molarity and the uh, perchlorate ion, the ClO4 minus, is 0 0.01 molarity. We want to know from these molarities, is there going to be a solid that precipitates? Whenever we're talking about precipitation, we know that we're going to be ending up with a solid somewhere in the solution. So stuff that didn't dissolve. Well, how do we find that? Well, it's kind of the same as just finding a KSP. However, we don't know that we are in equilibrium. So we have to use a Q value instead, right? Q values are for any point in time that is in a reaction. It doesn't have to be at equilibrium. It could be, but it's just for any numbers that they gave us. So the first thing is, was we have to find that balanced equation. So keep in mind with solubility products, KSP, right? We're always going to have the compound. So in this case, it's KClO4, and that starts as a solid. And double arrow because we are talking about equilibrium. And they told us what our ions are. So I don't even have to, you know, do any extra work. So this will break down into K plus and ClO4 minus. Um, these are aqueous because they are charges, right? So we have two aqueous, we have a solid. I'm looking to see if this is, um, you know, balanced. It already is balanced, so we're good to go there. I'm just going to pull this up. Actually, actually, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it looks like if I just do it straight down the middle. Okay, so now I'm just going to put out what the uh, ions they told us, right? So they told us that our K plus ion was 0 0.01 molarity, and they told us that the ClO4 minus is 0 0.01 molarity. So from there, I'm just going to find a QSP. And that just comes from the products with the reactants. So now I just noticed that I do probably have to put this off to the side just so that I have a little bit more room. So here we go. And now let's make that equation, right? So QSP, what we're basically solving for is equal to just the two products. So K plus times ClO4 minus. Okay, well, they told us the K plus was 0 0.01 and the ClO4 was 0 0.01. So QSP equals those two values, right? Plug them in. No need to raise it to anything because they're both uh, one in the balanced equation. So let's just see what we get. So 0 0.01 times 0 0.01, I get one. 0 0.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, now all we have to do is we just have to take this QSP that we found out and compare it to the KSP, right? Because the KSP is the known solubility product at equilibrium. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my QSP value on the left side and the KSP value on the right side. The QSP was 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. And the KSP is 1.05 times 10 to the negative second. We have to figure out between these two, which one is greater. Is the KSP greater or is the QSP greater? Well, in these cases, only just look at the exponents. If the exponents are changing, it's easy to just go with those numbers, right? Since 10 to the negative second is greater than 10 to the negative fourth, KSP is a greater number, and therefore, our arrow is like this. And in this case, the KSP is less than, uh, sorry, the QSP is less than the KSP. When you want to form a precipitate, the QSP has to be greater. That means that you're just in a supersaturated solution. But in this case, we did not make it. We are lower than our KSP, so therefore, no precipitate. So you will not see any additional solid in the solution. Whoop, whoop. Okie dokie. So there you go. All that was dissolved. 
Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to be seeing you in later lessons, or at least talking to you, right? And if you want to help us out, uh, please tell your friends, tell your classmates about the channel. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.